What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to being the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the 13 Colonies. So to run off where we left off, we are finishing our battles in Northern Italy and we're going to finally take capital of Genoa and also wipe out this pitiful Spanish stack sat right here. So without further ado, let's crack on. It's probably not going to be that great of a battle, um, but it's going to be a quick one to finish the... This is quite an interesting prospect for us, because now, as the 13 colonies, we've got quite a lot of to to pick and choose our future targets. So one such target I would like to be Tripoli, and then echoing what the... So I'd like to put a fort on the Ottoman border. Oh god, I hate fog battles. They're so... They're just ugly to see more than anything. So you're good up here. This infantry can stay behind. The 48th. To be honest, actually, I might even deploy them way up here. So I can deploy further down the hill. So let's bring up my line. Line infantry. Get ready to deploy. Elite infantry can wait behind. Cavalry will march up as well. Cavalry and my general will march up as well. So these guys are going to just stay with the stay with the guns for moral support. Reinforcements arrived to strengthen my force. My general. Are you really good, Andrew Hamilton? He can stay. He is not the commander of his force. He will observe from his hilltop position. Ooh, my howitzers. I forgot all about my howitzers, as per goddamn usual. They're getting sh chewed up by the garrison mortars. Okay, let's make my infantry run, because they're going to need to run. Well, I mean, I'm going to absolutely swamp them when the battle is joined. The Spanish allies have forsaken them. They have not shown <laughs> on the horizon. Bring my cavalry in. Because they'll they are God, I actually did not really appreciate just how much these troops are depleted. But let's bring my cavalry on a not a suicide run. But a one-stop shop onto their mortars. Bring the, let's bring my infantry actually up into a more useful position. See, just the, the game wants them, wanted them to get into combat here. Swarm the guns. Thank God for a minute I thought that was the Italians or the Spanish. I was like, no, don't do it. Guys, those guys just walk. These guys are probably going to route fairly quickly. Yep, just like that. Okay, where's my guards? Foot guards. Let's do a bit more of a piecemeal capture of the town. Oh, 
off the general. And we've also got some more garrison mortars. Bring this infantry over here. Oh, look at the diddy little barricade. Now they finally turned. This guy hit the mortars. See, it wants to kamikaze them into the spike. weakened troops to provide a line out here. Okay, you also go after the general military plink it. Oh, they can't plink that unit of firelock arm citizenry. Fusiliers, take the town hall. General is dead. Charging the file I can't see as many because why not? <laughs> Engaging a poor, you know, file I can't see as many. That has absolutely no recourse. Well, I say no recourse, they obviously have some because they have guns. Go on, let's bring Andrew Hamilton down. Get my cavalry back. Okay, where's Mon General? Town hall secured. Redirect my artillery. Let's get you guys back up here where you were going to be deployed. And let's allow Andrew Hamilton to get a few cheeky kills. I mean, as Crisp should probably be getting some too. Just running through the middle. These units up through the town. Awesome. Yeah, a weak unit of dragoons. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, the cavalry can stay back there for now. Hell, charge them actually. And then let's just turn off the artillery. The 
bunch of guards we got shot in the face Now well, let's commit the cavalry. Okay, so you can chase down this unit of bodyguard. The general can chase down someone else. Come on, lads. Shaken. Steady. get involved. Just get straight in. Kill them before they have a chance to take a pot shot at... Right. Before they get a chance to take a pot shot on my general. Push my general through. And push my my death blob onto the next file calm citizenry. Pull everyone back, retarget my general. Speed up time. Let's get out of crisps and kills. Make a fighting general. Well, I'm intrigued to know where the where the last hidden Genoans are. Or did it already say continue battle? I forget. Good. Crisp got his second chevron. Good stuff, because I think if I let it play normally melee attack goes up, defense goes up, morale goes up. Lots of good stuff. Useful stuff goes up. Okay. So I... So I have one. So is there like a, a just a hidden unit somewhere then? Because none of my units are in combat anymore. Like, I'm very, very confused. Because there's never a... There's no... I don't see any icons on the map. So you will pull back. Like, there's no one on the map. But, I mean, there must be, because... Well, someone's, someone is hidden somewhere. Okay, so let's have a look... ...through their deployment zone. Or is there a gunner still stood at one of their artillery pieces? No. It shows them still here, but... Get them to attack ground anyway, just in case. I 
I mean, so this might mean I've lost this battle. Because there's no... Like, there is no... <laughs> there is no enemy on the battlefield. There isn't any. Like, all of the flags are my troops. And there's none on the map. So, does that mean I'm going to have to, like, accept a... This must be a, must be a bugged battle. Or, there's a unit somewhere that is completely hidden and is crouching along really slowly. Okay, so let's just pick my cavalry just to wander all over the map. It's my light cavalry. God, this is dumb. It's really dumb. Someone's stuck on a building somewhere, maybe. No, but even then, there should be a symbol if they're stuck. Like, they should still have, a, like, a, a marker that says they're still there. Spread the troops out. become like find the villain because I've still got my fuselaires in the town hall but the trouble is on a battle like this there is no capture area like there isn't a fort so I can't even just sit there and I can't just wait the timer out because then I lose Okay, well, fortunately, guys, because this is the start of a new part, it saved just before I fought this battle. So, because this has happened, um, what I'm going to do is my artillery aren't firing at anyone. They're just they're targeting the ground here because I told them to, just in case that it, this was what buggered it up. But yeah, no one's being interfered with. There's no trouble. Normally, when everyone's dead, units that are not shown on the map usually pop up because they have no choice. They have to move. But, yeah. Rather than waste your guys' time and my time, and I'm certainly not going to have a, a defeat, I'm not going to lose this army because of a bugged match, um, I'm going to cut the recording here. I'm going to go back, load up that save, and then I'll auto-resolve it because it'll mean we win. Because I've won this battle, I'm. I, there's no way in hell I can let a bug game um, let me <laughs> let me lose. Like this is silly. So see you in a sec, guys. And we are back. So I've already fought this battle and I've already won. Therefore, I feel no guilt in some might call it saves coming, um, but I won the battle. Like, I won it, so I feel okay doing this. It's not as I'm trying to avert a loss or try to fight a battle again a better way. Like, I don't mind losing if it's a genuine loss, but that was a win. Um, so I feel no shame in doing this. It's still quite a good win as well. There goes you. Good. Because oh, you know hates me. You have a university, probably. No, you don't. Um, I then just have no tax. Because I have no money to repair your buildings. So, let's do some infantry skill retention. Although, to be honest, there's not a whole lot that needs to be done. Still no more rank 3 infantry. But then again, they're full, so that's not a problem. You'll be absorbed into them. Then all my tier 2 infantry is near as damn it full. Fusiliers can fill up. Uh, you, you guys can fill up. Oh, actually, there's a 
rank one I can fill up. Good stuff. Good. Freed up some recruitment slots as well. Uh, but yes, right now, we are actually in quite a... Well, a fairly reasonable position. Because, I mean... Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm still at war with Spain. Right. Coming after you, me old mucker. Uh, first we can take Sardinia. Then we'll take Tripoli. Then we'll take Algiers and start marching westward. Because right now, as far as I'm concerned, in um, America can kind of look after itself. I mean, I could attack... New Spain and try to seek a piece of the New Spain, which actually I think I might do. So let's take Peyton Hawthorne with his real ragged but elite oh. army. Get him aboard ship. Let's sail, let's sail him towards Caracas. Ooh, that Can might not order? be. S oh no, no, it's a bunch of native units, that's okay. Your humble servant. Oh no, let's get him back to, back to where he came from. Good. So you can fight them in the open field because that is just a nothing army. Native musketmen still have to involve, still have to Sorry. fight on a on a battle line. Genoa has been destroyed. We've captured Liguria. Andrew Hamilton, because of that battle, got aggressive attacker, and Amadeus Crisp lost his chevron. God, you're quite a good general. Okay, let's, let's hit end turn. Oh yes, reinforcements. No. For your You'll be directed down to Amadeus Crisp, and then I will probably... Let's leave Amadeus Crisp... Well, no, let's leave Andrew Hamilton to guard, and let's send Amadeus out to try get some more experience. Take Sardinia, take Tripoli, and I want to take Malta as well, isn't I? One thing I need to do is fortify northern, because as it is, proper armies there. Good, good garrison commanders on the front line. Good plan for the future. So we, uh, worth me looking at my objective. Which goal might be one. It rings a bell. Mm, Russians on the move. Savoy is going to probably turn on me at some point. That's why I want to have the the garrisons there. Okay. So let's rock and roll. Once the Barbary states finish what they're doing. Stop sending your rubbish ships out to sea to interfere with everyone else's hard work. The devils. There is a port in this region Ooh. that has not yet been developed. Select the. Let's recruit a sloop. Let's go back to New York. New York, New York, New York. There he is. Send him on a long walk to Mexico. Ready. Maintain Seat siege, because that's a Underwood. classic example of wanting to be on the defensive and deploy back to get away from their mortars. Okay, let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. Corsica's got the port finally, so let's make it a. What does it need to be a shipyard now? Get a fishery. Okay, so Genoa, repair. Replenish. Let's bring you over here. Yeah, Venice is plenty safe from any potential Austrian Austrian intervention. Um, do I just upgrade a bunch of economic buildings, or do I just go straight for straight? For, oh, I've got to go for economic buildings. The infrastructure tipped it. Good, good, good. Build up the tax base. Build cobbled roads and build government council. Maybe because these chaps are going to be here for a few turns. Let's make sure we don't lose. Okay, 
let's do this. And let's probably do the same with you. So I want to try to keep this unit as rank four. Because you don't normally see higher ranks. You guys can replenish and let's build a oh yes. I forgot raiding happened here. Uh, let's get Howitzer to go join Andrew Hamilton. Election results. Our governor of Europe is Pants. Raw Pants, you're just not good at anything. Good. Gareth Scarisbrick is better. So on 33,000 a turn. Commodities spanning almost all of the goods. We have no ivory or tea. But that's okay. We're doing pretty well as it is. So over here in the Americas... You could do with some recruitment, with some replenishment. This chap can probably move more towards... Actually, let's test. Onward. Order. Oh, Louisiana hates it. Sir. Could well be you then lower upper Louisiana. Yeah, they're a lot less, they're a lot more amenable to it. Take so let's bring Noel Croft. He can come back to Philadelphia and act as our guard. So this ter frontier territory is rather unprotected, but to be honest, it's not. It's only worth 198 per turn. So I'm not that bothered about it. Okay, good. Okay, economically we're starting to fall behind somewhat. So let's get... Shoo. Harford makes it four, Charlotte makes it five. Measuring tools is what I would like. So we can get roads, metalled roads, to help build up our tax base. Because right now, our... Our trade is still signif significantly higher than our tax, and I'd like that to flip, if possible. So let's hit a turn. Yeah, I don't think Austria fancies their chances at getting up too antsy with me. It would be interesting to pull City super aggro the capital back sometimes, other than if I take it because it's their cap a big enough war with Spain, I don't necessarily to let them because in Italy we are so dependent on trade it wanted to so that's why I think it's a good idea to continue war against normal Spain and if I capture Spanish territories it may also spawn the rise of Mexico and Gran Colombia who we may be able to establish better relations with Barbie State sailed all the way through the Med just to raid off the Baltic. The entrance to the Baltic Sea. Mm, it's bold. It's very bold. There is a port in this region that has not yet been mm. developed. Select the type of... So the Poles are raiding, but that's okay. It's your... F Gonna fully replenish. Milan is is now going to fully replenish. Let's recruit two more units of line to replace the ones here that are gonna sally up. So Lord you're gonna go to nope. So come here. Yes, you're gonna go to this guy. You're gonna go up to Forward. there. March. Then with this cash, let's start to build settlements. What? That's a. That's not what the ancillary symbol usually is. Good. Minus one happiness, plus five wealth from farming. That's Your pretty orders. handy. Okay, let's keep upgrading our religious school to try and hopefully peck away at this unhappiness. And let's also upgrade the theatre to, to a pleasure gardens because I'd like a rake to try and snipe away this damn missionary. Yeah, that's been taken care of, that's been moved. To be honest, where is Cheering? I trade with Cheering. 
Not Shirin, Savoy. No, nope, they don't like us very much. I want to trade with the Pueblo nations because we share common cause. Trade agreement and I'll sweeten the pot with a cool 850. What a swine. Okay, let's try and get out of some of these wars. Go on then, Poland. Prussia. You're almost dead, Prussia. You want me no. I'll offer you a cool 850. It's probably more useful. No. Russia's gonna probably gonna die. It's been pushed to Hanover and its new capital is Prague, because Poland is being a beast. Although they did lose Hungary. So they're not doing too brilliantly. Let's hit one more in turn. So our chaps continue to walk along. Okay, the Spanish are gonna send an army to come and invade me? I s suspect. <laughs> I bet that's what So it's almost a good job I've brought them. Philadelphia. So it might be worth doing a to more elite infantry. Rock and roll. <laughs> Give the cash and just... Because they have lots... Of most of them are conscripts and militia and lots of chaff like that. The Ottomans going a long way to get their grudge of Sweden. Not Sweden, Russia. Oh, I suppose that, that makes sense. It looks like the Russians will take Copenhagen, but the garrison at Krakus is sallying out. But looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the 13 colonies with their general, who is so bad he's only two stars. Ah, radio. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.